Okay, guys, so I figured I would do a, uh, on a suggestion of one of my uh, subscribers, I would do a Zantangle um, uh, drawing. I figured uh, there are tons of them online, so I figured I'd, you know, I'd do one that's a, um, a portrait, and I'll, of course, Bob Marley. <laughs> and, um, and I figured that I would just give some tips on how I do it. Um, it. To be honest, you know, I don't necessarily think it's anything um, new. Um, I think everybody does this at some point when they doodle and so on. But I think it's just a focused doodle, all right? It's like, a, but it's it's really fun. Um, it's really relaxing. It's um, it's challenging, but I I really think it's good exercise um, because it incorporates a lot of what goes on in a drawing process. In that, there's a blend of structure and spontaneity, which you know is, is sort of paradoxical, but it's it's the way the drawing process really works. Um, you're you're doing contrary things at the same time, and that's the thing that's magical about this whole um, drawing process and just the human process in general. Um, so yeah, I mean, when I do it, there are only three things that I really think about, and uh, they're the um, the divisions, um, the enclosed space, and uh, the border. So the border of the divisions. And of course, the divisions, you know, create the enclosed spaces. So, see, they're all interrelated. But I, these are the three things that I manipulate when I do this. And you know, it's to be honest, as, as I said, you know, to be honest, there is structure to it, but there isn't. You know, at the same time, and that's what makes it good exercise because it mimics the drawing process. All right. So, like with this one, I think, um, and to be honest, I have no idea where this is going to end up or how it's going to look. So, this is just as much surprise. It will be as much a surprise ending as you know for you or want you know watching it for the first time um but i figured what i'll do is i'll try to um use uh, i guess divisions that will sort of mimic you know the um mimic the contours of the forms so for example i think i'm going to have something that goes with the uh the nose right here um have something that maybe goes with the eyes you know like you're looking at a map contour drawing of a map or something, I think I'm going to try to incorporate something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling it out. And, you know, it, honestly, I think it's best when you have this type of uh, fun approach to it. You know, some people, I think, do it a little bit too tight. And then I think that may take some of the fun out of it, you know. So um, just try to be loose with it and have and have fun. See, I've pretty much just um, created the divisions. And as I said, the enclosed spaces are the places within the divisions, all right? So I'm going to be pay paying attention to the divisions. The, the border, which are these lines, I'm going to make them a little bit thicker. So they themselves will be, you know, like designs and so on. And then um, the enclosed space will be, um, you know, little designs as well. I try to use a variation of points, okay? Like in areas where I'll have a solid black, you know, it's a little easier when you use like something that has a bigger point. This is a point one. See, and it's, it's actually like more like a brush. All right. Um... I'm using, a, I generally use three points, all right? So here I'm using a, um, a point one, which is the smallest one, uh, a point three, which is like a medium. Well, actually, no, this is pretty small as well. And uh, the point eight is uh, pretty much a medium. So I'm using two small points, a uh, relatively middle point and a large point, all right? Um, yeah, so let's get into it.
predicting that pretty much. See, I was getting too lost into the fun of it. But um, it's it's really a lot of fun, um, really therapeutic. So, you know, sometimes you just want to draw or just do something that doesn't require much um, brain power. You know, it's, it's definitely something to do. Um, as I said, you know, the main thing I generally think about when I do it is just the divisions, the um, the enclosed spaces, and the border. Yeah, and I think the, those are the three... Um, variables you have to manipulate you, know, you can manipulate the border you can make the border whatever you want and you can enclose enclose space and actually and the divisions themselves how you divide the space is uh, within your control you can play with that and what you do with the enclosed spaces and the, div the borders that actually divide the um the enclosed spaces you know those are the three variables that you can manipulate and that's what i pretty much did in this one